Good morning, everybody. So today's video is going to be a little vlog. Um, I do stay at home, so I don't really have a job or anything. So we're just going to be eating, cooking, and cleaning today. Um, please do not mind my skin. My skin is super smooth right now. But I did pop all of my pores and stuff, and it always gets really irritated when I do that. So my skin looks cool. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a voiceover here and there because this video is literally all over the place. Um, I kind of stuck at vlogging because I'm not used to it. But for breakfast, I usually always have some type of fruit. So that day I had strawberries, bananas, and cherries, um, as well as a bagel and then some coffee. I don't have coffee daily, but sometimes I just I feel like I need it. Like my body just feels like I crave coffee. So yeah, I'm having a cup of coffee. No worries, baby's fine. After breakfast, I always have to put the dishes away. Um, I get myself into a routine that I love, but sometimes I don't always do it. But usually at night, I try washing all of the dishes so that the sink is nice and clean or there'll be a couple of dishes left in there. But for the most part, most of the dishes are washed. So in the morning, I can just go ahead and put them away and they're dry and ready to go. Um, I just think that makes life so much easier. Um, at least for me it does. So right now I'm just putting all the dishes away. And now I'm getting out some ice because this pregnancy I have been crazy about chewing on ice. Um, everything about it just is so satisfying to me. Um, so yeah, I'm making sure that I refill my little ice thing because I need to have my ice cubes throughout the day. And it also helps me drink some water. So that's always a good thing to stay hydrated. But did you guys have any weird things you would do while you were pregnant? Because this pregnancy has got me doing some really strange stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. Just making sure I have water with ice so I can keep going throughout the day. Now I'm going to wash some dishes because if I don't wash dishes, they will literally stay in the sink and then accumulate and then I'll have so many dishes to wash because I don't believe in using the dishwasher. Um, I don't know, I was just raised to always wash dishes by hand and it's just stuck with me and it's a big, big habit of mine now. Um, but these are the dishes that I have to wash, not so many. But this dish soap scent has just been my favorite so far. I don't know if it's because I'm pregnant and I, I don't know, but this pregnancy has got me sniffing like some random, random stuff, like a pine sole. I just need to randomly sniff it throughout the day, um, just a little bit. Um, the blue toilet cleaner, I love the smell of that thing. It's so freaking bomb. I don't sniff it all the time, by the way, obviously, but I just crave smelling that 24-7. So I have a bunch of these Mrs. Meyers um, dish soap things. And I don't really like them. Like I've used one of them, which was like the lemon one. I feel like once it hits the heat, I can smell the dish soap still on the pan, even though I've like rinsed it off really well. And that really kind of turned me off because that's disgusting. Does anybody else experience that or notice that or smells it while they're cooking um, because I really don't like how the scent sticks to the pans and stuff it makes me feel very weird and gross so I have a whole ton of these like different scents and I'm so upset because I just don't want to use them I don't want to touch them and they're just there I love using this one right here and I'm never going back 
and it's way cheaper. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wash dishes now before this video is like 15 minutes long of me talking. Sponges that they have on Rogue's website, and to be honest, I'm actually really impressed with these because they're super thick. Um, they're way thicker than the ones that you buy at the grocery store, like the the original green ones right here, and then the yellow ones. Um, I really like those a lot, but this one I'm actually pretty surprised with because it feels super thick, it absorbs so much, and it washes very, very well. So. You guys are looking for good sponges. This one's pretty darn good. Okay, so here I am again, blabbering my mouth, but I just wanted to talk about dish gloves. Does anybody else love using dish gloves? Because I don't know what it is about them. These are called like the glam gloves and I got them at Walmart for like $6. And I've been obsessed with them because they're yellow, which is my favorite color, and they're just so summery looking, and they're cute, and my hands stay dry while I'm washing dishes, which is something that I absolutely love. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show off my gloves. I'm sorry, I just had to do it. After I get out of the kitchen, I go into the bedroom and start making the bed. Um, and there's my dog Rambo, just being a brat, taking up all the bed like he always does. But getting the bed ready and making the bed in the mornings always makes me feel a lot better about myself and about what I do throughout the day. Um, because I just walk in the room and having the bed ready is just so satisfying and it just makes me feel like I was productive for once. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and be putting a little bit of makeup on because there's some days where I just feel like wearing makeup and I don't really do anything besides stay in the house and clean and try to relax and do some research on labor and stuff, but I don't know, some days I just feel like I need it. Some days I wanna look a little bit put together because this pregnancy has got me looking like death 24 seven, like I don't do my hair anymore i do the bare minimum with self-care and it kind of sucks um so i'm trying a little bit every single day to do something to enhance myself and my features again like i used to because it's never good to lack self-care um but yeah so we also did have our hospital tour today so it was, it was kind of a good thing that i put on makeup that day because I had totally forgotten until like a couple hours before but yeah so this is just gonna be like my typical everyday makeup look because like I said I don't go anywhere so this is just something to make myself look a little bit more lively Okay, so I'm going to be saying this so many times in this video, but I am not kidding when I say this. When pregnancy has got me cleaning like crazy, I clean the restroom daily. Um, and obviously not a deep clean because I'm not moving any single product on the counter. 
because I had just deep cleaned the entire restroom a couple days before this video was filmed. So I just, I don't know, I just, every single morning I have to wake up and wipe the counters, clean the toilet, um, scrub the inside of the toilet, and mop the floors. I don't know what it is about it, it's just... Every time I walk into the restroom, I want to smell clean. Like, I want it to smell like chemicals and that it's clean. And I just need it so bad that this is what I have to do. Um, so I use Pine Soul and the Toilet Bleach Cleaner. Sometimes I will mix 409, but usually I mix those through when I'm deep cleaning the restroom. Um, this is just something that I learned from working at a kids facility um, way back in California. So that's how we would sanitize the toilets and clean them because there's a lot of germs in the restrooms, especially at a kids facility. But yeah, I kind of just love the smell of it. So I do it at my own house now. And yeah, I just love cleaning the toilets, you guys. I don't know what it is about it. Um, and the next part where you're gonna see me pouring the liquid over and then scrubbing it just gives me life. I don't know, I'm so sorry. I might sound like a total weirdo, but this pregnancy, man, it has got me crazy out here. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and be putting away some of the little bit of laundry that I have. I usually do laundry once or twice a week at most. And that is just something that works out for me perfectly because I'm not overloaded with, with laundry every single day and I don't put it off because I really try to stick to that schedule and it just makes life so much easier so I'm just putting laundry away I'm sorry the first portion of the vlog was so boring I just really didn't do much today but also I didn't vlog this part because we were running a little bit late um, but we had our hospital tour today at 6 p.m. and it, that lasted like about an hour and a half, I wanna say. I really enjoyed it. It was it was just nice knowing what to expect and just knowing where to go the day of because you need to know all this information. I did feel kind of weird though because I was the only, like I was the youngest person there. Um, It looked like everybody else was like in their 30s. I felt kind of just, odd being there um but then somebody else showed up and she was like in high school so i made him feel a little bit better um not that there's anything wrong with that or i'm judging her but she made me feel a little bit better because i was like okay we're both young so it just gave me some type of like comfort i asked if my baby were to be breached if there was any way i could still try for a natural vaginal delivery and they basically said no they would automatically do a c-section and i really do not want a c-section at all like anything about needles and and getting cut like that and surgeries and stuff it just it's not for me i don't want to so that kind of made me nervous pray for me if you believe in prayers um wish me luck send me good vibes um, that my baby is not breached because I just don't want to go through a c-section.